So if you watch the previous videos uh, that I posted from the Khan Academy, um, you notice that you know that um, the they say that the binding energy uh, of a system is just equal to the energy of the parts, which is just the mass energy uh, minus the energy of the system. All right. Um, uh, or the, the other way to say that is that the um, there's, there's uh, if you have a, a, what he called a mass mass defect we call I I've heard it more often called the mass deficit uh, where it's just the mass of the parts or everything minus the mass of the actual system um, and if you uh, if you basically multiply uh, everything by c squared. Um, this will be the binding energy. Um, and that's that's basically the whole idea behind this. Um, so it turns out though uh, in um, in the when you actually look at these things, um, uh, it's often very hard to actually get the masses of the um, of the nuclei. Um, and so what we can do is we can do kind of an interesting trick. So let's say I'm interested in finding the mass deficit of carbon-12. All right, so um, uh, um, so imagine we have carbon-12, sorry, mass deficit of carbon-12. Um, often you don't, you just leave out the Z part of it. Um, this is obviously carbon-6-12. Um, uh, but so if we're trying to find the mass deficit of carbon-12, um, what we would need is the um, uh, is the uh, the number of protons times z because remember z is just the is the number of protons um, plus the number um, of neutrons times the mass of the neutrons. Okay, again, remember. Um, uh, and in this case is equal to 12 minus 6 um, or the atomic number minus Z all right um, and that would uh, uh, and so if we add those two and then just subtracted the mass of the uh, nucleus of, of the of the carbon 12 nucleus um, we would get uh, the mass deficit of carbon 12 uh, but Again, here's the interesting thing. What we can do instead of that is we can actually um, add uh, electrons. We can add um, Z electrons twice. And the cool thing is, uh, is um, sorry, we can, we, can, we can add the mass of the electrons and subtract the mass of the electrons. The cool thing is that if if we take this, this is just minus the mass of the nucleus plus z times the mass of the electrons. Um, this is just the mass of the atom, all right? Because the the nucleus plus the the z number of electrons, because the, the the nucleus has z electrons, uh, because that's the number of electrons it has. Um, that'll just give you the mass of the atom. The other cool thing is we can actually add these Z electrons. We also have Z protons. Well, proton one, pro, uh, one proton plus one electron just gives you the mass of a hydrogen atom. And so it turns out that this, these two terms combined together are just Z times the mass of a hydrogen atom, which we can look up. Um, and so you get a new formula, which is all in terms of, it, it hasn't actually changed the left side because we've just added and subtracted Z. Um, times the mass of an electron. So it turns out our mass deficit it can now just be written as Z times the mass of a hydrogen atom plus we still have the number of ne the neutrons N times the mass of the neutrons minus the mass of the atom now instead of the mass of the nucleus uh, which again is much easier to look up. Um, so let's just do this uh, with the example of the of, of carbon 12. Okay so um, the, the delta M uh, again, of carbon-12. Um, again, uh, carbon-12 has six, uh, um, six protons and six electrons, so, uh, so it's Z number six. And we're going to multiply that times the mass of hydrogen. The mass of hydrogen is just in the front of your book. Um, uh, uh, the, the, um, the, the mass of hydrogen is just equal to 
0.825 U. Um, again, where U is those funny uh, atomic mass units that, um, that we are using for all these calculations. Um, it's also, by the way, those atomic mass units are the same units that are used on a periodic table, just so you know, those, those are the same. Um, so then we need N times the number of uh, neutrons. Um, I've actually, unfortunately, chosen something that has the same number of neutrons as it does protons, so this is a little confusing, but this is also going to be 6, um, because 12 minus 6 is 6. All right, um, and we're going to multiply that by the mass of a neutron, which, again, we can look up in our book. And then we're going to subtract the mass of the atom, of, of the carbon atom, uh, the carbon-12 atom. It turns out the carbon-12 atom is defined as uh, as um, having 12 mass units. In fact, this is actually how mass units are defined. They're actually defined in terms of carbon-12. Uh, it's just a little bit of weird historical thing. Um, so if we actually do that calculation out, we get that this this mass is uh, this mass deficit of um, carbon six twelve is zero point zero nine eight nine four zero units. Okay, and now we want to actually convert that to something useful to the actual energy. Um, again, the binding energy. Uh, which we want to do is delta m, so that mass deficit times c squared. Um, we're going to use a conversion uh, that um, that Thomas More uses. Uh, this wasn't actually in the video, so I wanted to make sure I get this down. Um, the conversion is this, uh, which is that um, we can convert one mass unit. Uh, it's going to be equal to 931. We're going to use these really funny units. 931.48 mega electron volts per c squared. All right, so we're we're actually uh, we're actually using mass units that are an energy divided by a velocity squared, which seems really strange, but you'll see how this works out really well. So we're going to use this definition uh, of um, of a mass unit. So let's go back to find our binding energy. Um, again, the the mass uh, is uh, 0.098940 units. Now let's convert that by using this conversion. Um, uh, so um, uh, one unit uh, down here is going to give us 900, sorry, 931, I can't write apparently today, 931.48 mega electron volts divided by a C squared. And because that's divided by a C squared, I'm just going to kind of put that C squared back down here. Okay, and now we still have that if you so this is the whole formula is times c squared here And now you see why this works out so well. So using those units these c squareds actually just cancel out The u's actually cancel out and you just get your answer in terms of mega electron volts, which it turns as 92.161 mega electron volts and that's how you get the binding energy. So it's really nice uh, way of doing that calculation. That's basically the most complicated types of things we're going to be doing here. Again, the main thing you want to pay attention to is remembering uh, that um, uh, you are going to be given, uh, again, you're going to be given, uh, if you're, uh, you know, for instance, with carbon 12, 6, that this is your uh, A, this is your Z, and that your N is A minus Z. And as long as you remember that, um, basically, uh, you will be able to do these calculations and just look up all the answers and you should be good to go. Uh, so that's the whole idea behind it. So one of the things I've been doing in my other class uh, that I don't want you guys to feel left out in is actually telling some of my favorite jokes at the end of these to make them a little more interesting. So here we go. Uh, this is one of my favorite jokes by a guy called Tim Vine. Um, we actually won joke of the year a couple years ago. Here we go. I've decided to sell my vacuum. It was just collecting dust. All right, thank you all. I'll talk to you in class soon.